Hey guys, it's Jessica here. I'm with my friend. Uh, this is Ara from the Milty Vlog. Guys, <laughs> yeah, so we're finally here and we're very excited. Are you excited? So guys, it's been like two weeks since I, I moved into my new apartment. I was able to get a glimpse of life in the city in the Philippines and honestly, I think I'm meant to live in the province. So because I wanted to go back to the nature and see some greens and meet my friend, I came to the south <laughs> after moving out to the city. I also visited my mural spot! Let me tell you more about this mural project that I conducted three years ago as a senior high school student in the Philippines. It's a social art project where I, along with my volunteers from my school and also from the village, painted a 40 meter long mural on a border wall of Barangay Don Jose. Of course, the whole point of this project was not only to create beautiful art, but also to revive a space that was abandoned by a lot of people to something more lively. And also to bring the community together and all together feel a sense of community, belongingness, and unity through art. <laughs> In 2019, when I was in grade 12 in high school, I did this um, a year-long project of painting a mural, a community mural. So yeah, it's been like three years. This is where I am. So nice. But I'm actually impressed how like the colors are wow. still there. It's like very clear. Wow. So <gasps> beautiful. Oh. oh my God. You know, like seeing this now, because you also helped, remember? Yeah, when you were yeah. like wiping the, <laughs> yeah. the dirt. Around like 40 people volunteered for this project, like half from the village, half from my school. And I know exactly, because I'm the one who led this, who did what. Because I wanted to highlight the significance of the, of the location. That's why I had that. Like it, it encompasses the whole history of the Of course, our caravan. And then I put this because I love butterflies. But along with some And guys, before this area was piled with trash. So now they don't have they don't throw any trash here anymore. I also remember by the time because this is where all the tricycles line up here. I meet friends. Made friends with some yeah. of the drivers. And they helped us paint yeah, um, too. Yeah. But now there's like Tendidia here. Like mm -hmm. this like like Tai Tai stores. Oh the coat is covered. Oh yeah. It's like Ang Paligid ay sa No. Happiness ay sa Paligid na amang. And you guys help me with the translation thank you so much i had so much fun during that instagram story um voting day and then ball is life ball is life ball is life and then why is there no dirty ice cream person here you should be standing <laughs> right in front my favorite dirty ice cream uh, i love this vibe Favorite. Now, like now, I see the food doesn't look appetizing at all. <laughs> I should have drawn some like achara and stuff. What's your favorite budo fight? Inasal. Inasal. Chicken. Yeah. How about you? Fish. Fish. Yeah. I also Nihau. like the seafood, like the dampa food. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this, of course, this is where all the tricycles light up. I actually really went through a lot of thought process when coming up with all this design. That's why like I'm so happy that it, like it remains. I'm coming up with these sketches of the design. I'm almost done with the sketch. I'm going to Here are the colored illustrations of my designs. It might look a little bit like intimidating, but this is the handprints of the volunteers, also the kids of the village who came by when we were doing this project. I can't remember like who did what obviously, but then I remember the kids were having a lot of fun really. 
I miss those kids. They must have grown up so much. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm also shocked by like how how vibrant the green stays. Boysen paint. Thank you, Boysen. Bye, mural site. Oh, just this pink. It used to be bright pink, but I remember using a color tint. That's why it didn't last long. Please visit this place, guys, and take a picture. And now we're gonna go to my favorite, favorite, favorite music place of the town. I remember going there a lot with my volunteers or by myself just to eat. I just came to this restaurant and ordered seasick because I'm so hungry. Turns out. Who introduced you to this place? In that seasick place? Yeah. I just found it. Because there's a church there, right? And then I went to the church to collect, to gather volunteers. I remember doing a whole like full-on Tagalog speech <laughs> in front of the crowd. Oh, Guys, oh, please join yeah, yeah, yeah. my mural. Nangyari, basahin ang harag, dagat, information sa poster sa harapan ng simbahan. Over there, I... And then after that, I got hungry. And then there was Sisi place right here. Let me introduce Ara, my friend, to my favorite seasick place. Well, I don't know, it's been three years that... Yeah, it's this place. A golden pot pala. Yeah, it's this place. Do you see, smell the seasick? Can we get two seasick? With rice? You know, you know they upgraded. There was no dish <laughs> Yeah, it was totally blank. Open? Yeah. Inside, right? You're shocked by how different it is inside, right? Yeah. I don't know, so big. My favorite seat area. Oh, I'm so excited! Wow. Big. This really kind of like provincial style. You know, I also only found out about Mountain Dew in the Philippines. In, in Korea, there is, but I oh. never knew, yeah. Is this chicken oil? Oh, no, 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 it's just that. Because nowadays, when you go to Magna Sol, they don't put the chicken oil. Yeah. Yeah. They give you a pack. Yeah. Even in Jollibee, sometimes there's no chicken in Jollibee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like, it goes the scarce if you have chicken. Yeah. Why is everything going scarce now? I don't know. You know, in Korean subway, they stopped selling wedges. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're really facing an economic crisis now. Yeah. I want to go back to the time when I was painting that mural. When everything was just simple. I, I, I miss being, being a student. Kind of reminds me of my days where really like the only focus of my life is for school. It's just about finishing your homework of the day. This is the power of art guys. Like it brings you back so much memories and by seeing it I was able to really see it also like a picture memory of who was doing this and what kind of episode happened, you know. Okay, mix it right away, mix it right away, mix it right away. Good. Looks good, right? Yep. Ah, I should have changed the garlic rice. We're gonna rate Jessica C6 again. Okay, it's the same. The visuals, the smell, everything is the same as three years ago. Wow. This is the dignity of local restaurants. They never change. Good, right? Because I'm really picky about my seasick. Because they always have different style, right? But I really want to go to Pampanga to try the original authentic seasick. Let's go. You know, there's so many places you can go on a food trip in the Philippines. Comment below if you want Jessica to make that a series. What I like about their seasick is that it's not salty and it's not so fatty. Also. It's not fatty. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's only fat. Yeah. Yeah. They have their own flavor. We had an amazing seasick. How was the seasick, Ara? Good. Good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye to my favorite restaurant that I don't know when I'll come back, but I'll always come back. So there was a little tour of me 
reviewing something that I've done in the past. It was a very meaningful journey for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.